Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome back to my platform. I am back with my dry humor, quirky humor, but you all are here for it. So let's go ahead and get into what in the name of source is going on out here. So really quickly, last night when I went to catch all my Z's, count my sheeps, I had a dream about a young woman who is being exposed for being an empress in the reverse. So this is someone that has been pretending behind the scenes to be something that she is not um, to a masculine, to a group of people, a corporation, business partners, things of that nature. So in the dream, it almost seemed like there was some type of ritual going on. This woman is pretending to be someone of the light, but I kid you not, everything around her was dead. Like there was darkness, right? Um. So there's this masculine who is interested in another person, but this woman is like forcing herself on this masculine. He's calling for his divine feminine, but this woman decides that she's the one who's the divine feminine and she goes to hug the masculine. And he's just kind of confused, but he's playing nice. Uh, she holds his hand, tries to skip with him, but on the side of her, it's like a big pile of dump just sitting there. And that's how I knew um, that this was like a imposter. This was a representative that we were watching. Um, but he was really getting upset with her. He kept, he kept saying, Nia, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? So this is someone, I think that has been stealing behind the scenes. This person has been stealing either people content, stealing from other businesses, things of that nature. Now, the fact that I'm having this dream, Maybe it has something to do with me, Miss Nia. If you've been stealing from me, honey, you better have my money. That's all I have to say. So let's go ahead and get into what in the name of source is going on out here. We have the judgment card out here. So there has been a decision being made. There has been a decision made, right? Something has been revealed about the truth of someone's character. As you can see, we have the seven of source out here, which means someone has been stealing from an empress energy. Excuse me. <coughs> So someone has either been stealing your resources, your energy, your persona, things like that, pretending to be you. Someone has been preventing you from receiving some type of message, interfering with communications and things like that, uh, bugging your phone, blocking emails, text messages, forwarding calls to a different number, or just blocking it altogether. There has been some type of thievery going on, out, going on out here. It's almost as though someone has been putting out work. So you're showing up here as an empress energy, which means that you you are someone extremely abundant, not just spiritually, but physically as well. But someone has been stealing from you your resources, which means that you're possibly putting out work in some way, shape, or form. Since I'm a social media content creator, I am going to use social media as an example. So you're, you, you're creating your content on a daily basis. You create marvelous content like myself here. <laughs> that is so egotistical, but we're here for it. You create amazing content, right? And you're releasing your content, um, not knowing that there's someone behind the scenes downloading your content and re-uploading it on a different platform. Let's say you're on TikTok and you create your content, you're releasing it on TikTok, but you don't have a platform on YouTube. So this person is releasing your content on YouTube and they are benefiting off of it. They are getting a lot of revenue from, from it. But then, lo and behold, you decide to get on YouTube and the truth comes out. Now, people are wondering, well, who is the real creator? Because we have two people out here showing the same thing. So people get to looking into the bee's knees, the business, and then they find out that someone is an imposter and they have been stealing someone else's content. So this is the situation this person is in. And this could be this woman that I saw in my dream because Laura, honey, have mercy. She had a whole lot going on. This is someone that's extremely shallow, just had a whole lot going on that she should not have going on. But we're not here to judge you, honey. That is your business. But if you owe us money on this platform, we're coming to collect when it's time. And so let's get back to this Empress energy. So you're here as an Empress, minding your business, being productive, being nurturing, being caring, because that's who you are. Everything around you flourishes and it grows. You know, when you come into dead places, they come back to life because you have that gift and you are that it factor. Okay. 
you have some type of abundance coming your way. There is a message. Someone wants to communicate with you about a business opportunity that they believe that you are a great fit for. And this could be like business opportunities that this imposter stole from you. So this is someone that has been living as you basically and receiving opportunities by uh, under a persona that's supposed to be you but because the truth has been revealed this person can no longer do that someone behind the scenes is advocating for you someone is taking action to bring balance into this situation which is why we have the judgment card out here it could be one of her business partners that came into the know about what she has been doing it could be her lover as well, uh, or maybe someone that's interested in you, but she's interested in them and he doesn't want anything to do with her. So maybe the, the two of them were working together initially. He may have believed that this was her genuine content that she was putting out, but he's finding out that it's not true. There could have been laws uh, are broken behind the scenes and things like that, invasions of privacy, defamation of character, whatever it is for each of you situation um, but someone is advocating for you someone is taking action to bring balance into this situation you may not even know this person you may not know this masculine all this feminine feminine that's acting on your behalf but you can expect to have some type of meeting with someone in the future where they will be giving you some type of ace of pentacles right because they know who you are the truth about you um, so they, they want to give you some type of offer, right? I said Ace of Pentacles, but this is a page of Pentacles that I'm seeing out here. Excuse me. I have a whole lot going on in my, my little brain. So someone wants to come in and invest in you, uh, and, and because they know you're someone very hardworking and committed to your task. There's some type of anger from this person, either this woman, whoever it is, because a decision has been made to bring you your abundance, to give you what's yours and giving you this page of Pentacles offer is going to put you in your privileged lady energy privileged gentleman energy as we should say um so it's going to put you in a beautiful light where you are going to be able to expand your empire that you are building on your own some of you should have been a lot farther along than you are today but because people have been doing things behind the scenes to cause you some type of stagnation um to cause you some type of lack you are not as far as you should be because of interference from hateful people, from the karmics. Shall we sing a song for the karmics today? Don't come for us, because we didn't send for you. Don't come for us. Don't come for us. Don't come for us. Don't come for us. Do you think they're going to listen? Absolutely not. They're going to keep coming for us. And we are going to keep sending source on that behind. Okay. Uh, so this resource that you have coming in, this is something that could be like an inheritance, something that's your natural abundance, part of your soul contract that someone has been interfering with. So if someone is out here pretending to be you, then it makes it complicated for people to see who the truth person is, because sometimes people will commit their entire life to practicing being someone else instead of figuring out who the heck they are. So they spend their whole life being you, but then when the real you show up, they don't know what to be. They don't know who to be. Lord have mercy. Chale, have mercy upon us, oh God. Anyways, someone wants to cause you some type of mental conflict. Someone wants to come in and say, well, you don't really understand what's going on. Um, you, This is not what it is. This is not what you think it is. It's exactly what you think it is, honey. Someone's been stealing from you and they need to return to you what belongs to you. Okay. That's what it is that's going on. Someone wants to just, you know, cause you mental and emotional conflict. They don't like the fact that you are balanced. They don't like the fact that you're gifted. They don't like the fact that you are loved by the divine. You are protected you are being advised to stand your ground because uh like what else can you do what else would you do that's the only option is to stand your ground and protect what's yours right so there could be a legal case that comes out of this because this person has been stealing from you for so long they've gotten comfortable doing it they feel entitled to what's yours now they think that you two are the same or they're even a better version than you god forbid honey have mercy such blasphemy should not be spoken into existence. Who can be better than you? Hmm? Who can be better at being you than you? Make it make sense. Anyways, so 
you are being advised to stand your ground. Whatever case comes out of this, you will win because um, you're not the thief in here. You've been going through some type of stagnation period because of what this person or this group of people have been doing behind the scenes. They've been putting in a lot of efforts to block your money, block your finances, block your resources, block connections and things like that. And as you can see, this thief is experiencing some type of betrayal and it is well deserved. This person is going to be having a hard time coming up. They're going to be losing business opportunities, connections, resources, finances, and things like that, even maybe a romantic connection. This is just someone that has a lot of healing to do, but they don't want to do it. This is someone that just feels entitled to what belongs to other people. These are those types of people that don't really put in the work, but they want to reap the harvest, okay? And that's not how life works. You need to work for what it is you want in life. If someone decides to give to you, that's a different situation. But if you're going to steal, uh, honey, there are consequences. It always comes out. What's in the dark always comes to the light. That is how the universe has it set up. And it doesn't matter how long it is, how long it takes, the truth will always come out. Okay? So your pathway is clear regardless of what these people or this person has been doing behind the scenes. I see that you have gone through some type of betrayal, heavy betrayal by family, friends, close, uh, close people to you. You've gone through a whole lot of betrayal, but somehow you've managed to get yourself out of that uh, and not allow it to get the best of you, not allow it to break you. And a lot of these people are baffled because they know what it is they did to you or even tried to do to you, yet they see you walking around with your head held high as it should be, with a smile on your face. Your world could be falling apart, but they don't know because you walk out with confidence and you have a trust in the most high that just does not make sense to these types of people. And it never will make sense to these types of people because these are people that don't understand inner peace because they don't have inner peace. They don't have people around them to teach them inner peace. So it's a foreign thing for them. Okay. Someone wanted to invite you to some type of celebration, come in and, you know, cause you some type of loss, right? So they're going to invite you, pretend like they won't care about you. They want to share a space with you, things like that, uh, share resources with you. Um, no, this was a setup to steal from you, to embarrass you and things like that. Someone knows that you are not attending anything that they are a part of because you know what's going on, right? There's judgment being called in this situation against this queen of wands who had this false sense of victory. This woman really believed that she had tricked everyone into believing that she was you and that she was successful at being you and she had gotten so comfortable living off of your hard work that she thought she was Houdini, honey. Haha. <laughs> it not be so, it not be so, honey. Balance is back balances into this situation. Mayat knows where you live. She is coming to collect. Mayat knows where everybody lives, even the nomads. So when your karma is due, you must pay. So this woman has some type of false sense of victory. She still feels entitled no matter what it is that's going on. Even though she's been told to back off, sit down, move on. She's still feeling entitled to what belongs to you. She still thinks that she can come in and steal from you. It's not going to happen. The truth has been revealed and it is causing a, a, a tower for this woman. She's being humbled. This woman is being humble. This is someone that was abusing her power. She was in some type of authoritative figure uh, role. Um, she has like influence is basically what I'm trying to stay, but say, but she has abused that power and it's been taken from her, right? Someone may even want like someone from your past is part of this collaboration. Someone has been collaborating with this woman behind the scenes or a group of people have been collaborating with this Jizzy Bell energy behind the scenes, this, this thief behind the scenes to steal from you. And this person may have thought, the person from your past, your familiar may have thought that they could come in, woo you, and you will reunite something with them or reestablish some type of friendship with them. It's not happening because you don't have any fond memories of the past. The only memory memories you have of this person are horrible. And even if they're not horrible, you're not interested in starting over with them again. Whether it's a friendship, whether it's an intimate relationship, you don't care. You are moving on, right? Someone did something to interfere with your resources. They wanted you waiting and waiting and waiting. 
excuse me, you've put in a lot of work and people didn't want you reaping the your, your harvest and things like that. But that's exactly what's happening. As you can see, we have our 10 of pentacles out here, honey. You are about to have it all. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Someone don't want this message to come out, but it must come out. It's intended to come out. It's destined to come out. Sit down somewhere. As you can see, you have the Ten of Pentacles ahead of you, right? This is everything you've ever dreamed of. The house, the car, the marriage, the family. Honey, everything. Okay, the finer things in life. But you, what's different about you, my dear, is that you are someone that's going to be humble about what you have. You're one of those people, like even if you have like a billion dollars in your bank account. Ooh, honey, that's a good number. Let's claim that number in our lives. Let us collect together. Let's come together collective and let's manifest that number in each of our bank accounts. Hey, shake me. Anyways, so you are about to have everything, but you are the type of person that even when you have a billion dollars in your bank account, again, with that number, you will walk around looking like a Walmart employee or a Walmart customer because you don't care about the bougie things in life because you know what really matters in life. And that is the connections that you have with people, feeling fulfilled in life, being healed, being balanced, being happy with yourself, right? So those are the things that matter. Someone may have stolen a house from you or someone stole quite a lot from you and they are being let go. They are being told that they have to let go of what belongs to you so that it can come to you. For some of you, this is a masculine energy that did this. Stole all of these resources from you and he has to let go of it so your what is yours can come back to you. This is what it is, honey. So they are being put out. There is an institution that's behind this as well for some of you. And this institution is no longer working with these people, this person, this woman, this man. They're no longer backing this person up because these types of people come with nothing but trouble. They may have cost this institution some money that they are not able to pay back. So someone may be losing their job. Someone may be losing quite a lot of resources and which is right because it didn't belong to them in the first place. Someone is about to be living in poverty where they will be having to like beg for money. They may even end up begging you for money one day. Okay. Because this is what they wanted for you. Because if someone will go to this extent to steal from you and to block you, they want you to be a beggar in the streets. And this is what's about to happen to some of these people. Someone may have collected money as well. You know what dark workers do. They co collect donations and things like that. Pay people to cause you heartache, stagnation. This is what this woman or man was doing behind the scenes. Paying people to block you, paying people to invade your privacy, paying people to cause you mayhem and things like that, trying to get you to be in balance because they didn't want people seeing you as an earth angel, as a star sea, a crystal child, an indigo child. They didn't want people seeing the truth about you, but the truth is exposed. You are someone heavily guided and protected by the cosmos, right? You're someone balanced. You're angelic. You could be angel in spirit form, but in, you know, in flesh, you're like the rest of us, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. Anyways, you're someone angelic. You are a blessing. Uh, you and this masculine coming together. There's a masculine you're supposed to come together with. You're going to be in some type of powerful, and I mean powerful, relationship with a masculine. This is why we have the temperance and the star card together. Because you're coming into a union, a collaboration with a masculine that is exactly like you you this masculine may be a little bit even more gifted than you are but that's okay you two will learn from each other this is a beautiful uh connection so this is just this is beautiful you two are going to be as absolutely influential in the world right you will be helping people heal you two will be like uh, uh a beautiful team, equal give and take in business and in romance. And this is something this masculine has been lacking for a long time with his relationship with this Jizzy Bell or this thief, whoever he was with, just did not meet his energy, could not match his energy, didn't pass the vibe check. But you, you on the under, other hand, my darling, you passed the vibe check. Congratulations, you're about to be in a powerful relationship that's going to change the trajectory of your life. 
someone wanted you stuck in some type of a uh, 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 toxic relationship someone wanted to come in and cause you an illusion make you believe that they were in love with you this is someone extremely toxic right so they wanted to come in reunite things with you because somehow these people know that this masculine is interested in you even if you've never communicated with this masculine before people somehow know that he's interested in you and this woman that he was with is absolutely intimidated by you my dear she may have been the one that you know put the word out there that he's interested in a star seed. He's interested in an empress energy. He thinks she's better than me. Um, I don't know what he sees in her that I don't have. I'm better looking at her, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, this masculine is still going to be leaving you behind because you don't meet the bee's knees, right? You're not doing the work to heal. We're not judging you, but you got to put in a little effort, honey, to be a better version of yourself. You can't be the same version of yourself for 30 years what kind of stuff is that so there was some type of plan to have you trapped into something people wanted you to look like you were someone toxic a liar someone with addiction problems and things like that you know like the you know the substance and things like that i try not to use the actual word on my platform because i don't know a lot of the words that youtube does not favor so i don't want any problems with my little platform so maybe they, they painted you out to be like a devilish energy someone may have said that you are into dark magic you're a witch and stuff like that you have an altar and things like that <clears throat> uh so i have a little confession to make I do have an altar, but it's like with crystals and things with like sentimental values to me. So like my paintings that my daughter does for me, things like that, uh, just things with sentimental values like my uh, amethyst crystals and things like that. I have those on my altars, but as far as having people pictures and stuff on there to do voodoo, I don't, I don't, I, uh, 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 uh. My, uh, uh, uh. I am of the light and shall remain in the light. I don't need to do any type of spell work and things like that to attract anything in my life i am a powerful manifester and i embrace that aspect of myself fully okay i'm not completely hue but i am very much hue to the point where i know what i am capable of and doing spell work and dark work on other people is not my forte it will never be in here it has never been my forte anyways regardless of what this honest messages people were spreading about you lying about you and things like that honey you put a, a, a end to this chapter it's like you don't even care what these people are saying about you you don't care what they do in their lives how they talk about you how they don't talk about you what they're doing with themselves you don't give a penny you are moving on with your life you've closed this chapter and you are pretending like these people don't even exist at this point you probably had a mental funeral for these people kudos to you on that anyways as you can see, we have the judgment, the lovers, the uh, 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 justice card, and then we have the eight of pentacles. You best believe a decision has been made to return to you what the enemy stole from you or what the enemy intended to steal from some of you, right? Someone wanted to still come in to take what was yours, but you see that your, your, your resources are being restored, okay? You took charge of your life. Someone may have thought that they were going to have it easy easy getting rid of you this is like someone stealing your content but then trying to block you off of social media block your work off of social media so they can have a easier time pretending to be you uh-uh uh -uh. what make it make sense they didn't realize you were a warrior honey they picked a fight with the wrong one and they found out real soon that they picked a fight with the wrong person Anyways, your abundance is still yours. You're still going to be living that good life that your ancestors promised you, that the Most High promised you before you decided to reincarnate to help these ungrateful people on this planet. Shall I say, let me remind you again. Your abundance is still yours, that the uh, uh, council, that source promised you before you incarnated on this planet to help these ungrateful people okay it's still yours no one can take it from you you are the empress uh whatever mental conflict people are trying to cause you it's not working 
you are emotionally balanced. As a matter of fact, your enemies are the ones who are having mental conflict, mental distress. You have some type of hard decision that's coming up for you as well. You will have to leave one thing behind to start a brand new chapter, but that's a okay. You will be okay, right? You may end up breaking a heart, uh, letting go of a job just to live in fulfillment and things like that. It said you're letting go of a nine to five in, in order to follow your passion. And if the people you work with really genuinely care about you, they will understand why you are making the decision that you are making, which is going to lead the victory and a brand new beginning for you you're about to be walking through brand new doors after this hard time that you went through honey and it was so unnecessary but because people hate a lot for no reason and choose not to do the work that they need to do to heal they choose to cause the rest of us distress that are not paying them any mind they see us we are minding our business we're happy in our little mediocre life while we're working our way to greatness and they are intimidated by us because we have a light about us honey we can't help it that the most high f's with us okay anyways who you have a beautiful message coming in that's going to lead to abundance for you. You are going to be someone that has multiple source of incomes, honey. When you don't even realize the amount of abundance you have up ahead of you. And it is secure. There is nothing anyone can do to steal it from you. You are not a beggar. You will never be a beggar. It does not matter how much money people collect to pay for witchcraft or voodoo to be done on you. At the end of the day, they are just wasting their money. At the end of this situation, they are all going to low back and say, hold up, I spent $100,000 paying for voodoo to be done to this man, to be done to this woman, and nothing happened to them, and now I'm broke? You want to tell me I did all of this for nothing? That would be correct, honey. That's exactly what's going to happen, okay? There's a message coming in to you, for some of you, about a court case that you are not aware of, and it is about to be brought to your attention. So keep an eye on your mailbox. If people are not still uh, uh, interfering with your messages and things like that, your mail, try to check it on a daily basis. Um, if you are having a hard time receiving your mail, go to the post office and Bring attention to it. Ask what your options are so that you can fix that situation. If you need to change phone companies and things like that, do whatever, whatever it is you need to do so that you can receive the message you're supposed to. For some of you, someone will be coming to you physically to provide something to you, to give you something and bring something to your attention, okay? You are someone extremely gifted, someone very good at multitasking. You're business savvy. You are innovative and things like that. So this little stagnant period you have been in, it is over. You can expect some inspiring news to come in that's going to put you in a brand new energy. There is a masculine that's going to be connecting with you. That is the uh, your divine counterpart, and you two will be working together. It's not going to start off as romance initially. You all are going to take time to get to know each other. This is someone that's head over heels about you, but they're going to take things slow with you just to make sure that everything goes right, right? This is someone... Excuse me, my mouth is getting watery and juicy because this read, honey, this read, read is the vibe. Because this person is someone that is very uh, uh, divine, right? This is someone that's advocating for you in the background. They're taking a lot of hits for you, right? This could be um, uh, men as well. For some of you, they were against you in the beginning, but now they see the truth for what it is and they are advocating for you. They're standing their ground and things like that. That Jesse Bell, whoever it is, man or woman, that wanted to come in and cause you some type of heartache. This person is experiencing some type of ending that is well-deserved, okay? Someone was betrayed by a close person to them. Um, for some of you, this masculine that's coming towards you as well was betrayed by this feminine energy. And for some of you, this is this feminine energy, this thief that stole from you they're experiencing some type of ending as well and this is because they receive guidance from a pretentious energy um, so they're bringing the universe is bringing balance back into this situation both of these people had to go through some type of humbling experience this masculine may have made it through his and she's still having a hard time starting and accepting things for what they are 
The truth is in the pudding, man. It's right in your face. Whether you accept it, you don't accept it, it's not our problems. The rest of us are going to keep moving, right? But someone is going through a shocking revelation about you, Star C. They're seeing you as the truth. They know who you are. They know who's been creating all of these beautiful contents or creating all of these beautiful products and things like that. Who the uh, brain really is, where all of these business ideas have been coming from, and it was not her. It was not she, right? It was you, okay? So this collaboration or whatever was going on behind the scenes is over. It's being dismantled. There is a meeting that you will be having with someone, um, and they're going to be revealing a lot to you about someone that was abusing their power, someone extreme, extremely toxic, someone that just refuses to yield, someone that refuses to do the right thing, someone that likes any type of human emotions and things like that. You're going to be finding a lot out about this character right we see the king of swords here in the reverse so this could be a feminine energy that just acts like a masculine it's what i'm getting or this could be someone that dishonored themselves they should have been someone in a high ranking position but they didn't honor themselves and that ranking has been taken away from them right someone has fallen from grace a high ranking person in the spirit and physical has fallen from grace and this is something they call on themselves right so you're showing up here as well as the page of pentacles you're someone extremely uh, committed you invest in the things that matter to you people see you as someone very hard working regardless if they are the jealous karmics or genuine people that see things for what it is people know that you are hard working and committed to what you do you nurture what matters to you you plant your seed you nurture it until it blossoms into what it's supposed to blossom into you're not attending any type of celebration with these people, not no one from your past, nada, okay? You don't have any fond memories of these people. You don't want to attend any type of ceremony, any type of celebration. You don't have anything to celebrate with these people, okay? Okay, this chapter is over. You have a brand new passionate beginning ahead of you. Stay committed to your new journey. I will see you in my next week. Goodbye for now.